We begin with a major shift in policy from Oregon Governor Kate Brown. Just about an hour ago, she announced she is expanding vaccine eligibility to include everyone age 65 and older starting January 23rd, along with teachers and child care providers. This is a welcome move for Oregon seniors, and it comes as the Oregon National Guard is joining in the state's efforts to get more vaccinations into Oregonians' arms. KGW News Pat Doris joins us live with the latest updates and a look at a mass vaccination event today, Pat. Well, Laurel, this really is a surprising announcement and it solves a huge problem for the governor. She was really getting squished on one side with the teachers and their very powerful union saying we need to be next in line. And on the other side, tens of thousands of senior citizens across Oregon saying, hey, we are very important as well to ourselves and to our family and to our state. What do you mean we have to go behind teachers? So now the governor is able to say, well, why don't you both go at the same time and we'll hope that the federal government sends us a lot more supplies. That brings up the next question of how are we ramping up as a state all of these vaccinations? So today I was able to go to Salem and take a look at what could be a model, of what we could be seeing soon all around the state. From the lines of traffic to the lines of people wrapping around the building, Salem Health has figured out how to keep people moving for a mass vaccination event. Willa Dean Thompson from West Salem got her shot and is impressed. Super. I was expecting it to be very long, very um, uncomfortable, but no, just great. Last week, Salem Health gave 8,000 people their first shots and stopped only because they ran out of supplies. This week, they expect to reach 14,000. This may well be the model adopted around Oregon for giving lots of COVID shots quickly. What we're hearing is other folks around the state are going um, are gonna to model some of what we've done. We've had uh, leaders from other health systems come down and take a look, and we've shared information with them so that no one has to reinvent the wheel, and they can go do this at whatever facilities they have as well. So far, they've just focused on people in Marion County who are in Phase 1A. That means health care workers and people living in long-term care facilities. Members of the Oregon Guard are doing everything from helping with traffic to giving shots. Colonel Ron Smith is a physician assistant in his civilian life. I think we are, in a lot of ways, you know, uh, uniquely uh, suited for that type of thing. Breland Reed is a full-time member of the Air National Guard, part of its Air Medical Response Task Force and happy to explain why he got the shot and why African Americans who are hesitant should get it too. We have a history here in the United States and I, and I understand where the, where the concern is coming from. Uh, they should know a lot of the, the vaccine was, um, uh, was developed by, by a black doctor, a black woman. Um, and and I, mean, it's, I mean, it's helpful. I mean, this is no different than getting your, your flu shot. Willa Dean told me it will allow her to have a little more freedom without worry, something we all look forward to. Yes, we do. So if this goes off the way the governor hopes, it would take place, take effect two Saturdays from now. So January 3rd, not this coming Saturday, but the following Saturday. And by the way, the governor is saying, don't call your doctor. Don't ask him yet when you can get that shot because they don't know. It hasn't been set up. Just be patient. Hang in there. It's coming in about two weeks.